We'll keep it here with sports news. NASCAR heading to Road America this weekend and WCNC Charlotte is the place to catch both the Xfinity race on Saturday and the Cup Series race on Sunday. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the booth calling those races with the NBC crew and WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Strohline spoke one on one with him about the season, but also this is really cool, Stro, uh, the season two of a show Lost Speedways, which debuts this week. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Vanessa. Of course, we are happy to have NASCAR here on WCNC Charlotte this weekend. And for those of us that grew up around the sport or even fell in love with it along the way, there are so many tracks that have meant so much to so many different communities over the years. And Dell Jr.'s show Lost Speedways really finds a way to take a look at some of those tracks that are no more. Meaningful moments that took place there, including some that are very personal to his own family and career. Some are ghostly and some are extremely beautiful and romantic it just depends on really what happened there and 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 i guess what can what you know what kind of shape the tracks in currently but that's the crazy thing about it you really sometimes don't even know what kind of feeling and vibe you're going to get when you when you go to see these places uh until you get there and i've always wanted to explore these tracks you know aside from you know, TV show. I've, I'm just interested in going and seeing these places, learning about them. And so to be able to do that in real time with a viewer and an audience is, is more motivating, more exciting. And then kind of going here to 2021 in the NASCAR Cup Series season, and you look at some of the things that they're trying, right? Like Bristol Dirt Race, going back to some of the roots of the sport. You're going to Coda, the, the All-Star Races at Texas. We were just in Nashville. So looking at what they're doing, how do you feel about that? And then when you look at the rest of the schedule and where you're going to be calling these races, what are you most excited about? It's fun. You know, it's enjoyable and, and great to be back out on the road and back at the track. And fans are at the track. The energy is back. Fan, more fans are at the track than before the pandemic. I mean, this weekend at Nashville Super Speedway was insane uh, as far as the crowd and the energy. Uh, and so that it reminded me a lot of, you know, what we might have seen in our sport decades ago uh, where there wasn't a seat left. And I hope that we can maintain that momentum and growth going forward. Before we wrap up with you, just final thoughts on, on what you want viewers to know about checking out Lost Speedway Season 2. Season two comes out July 1st. You can only see it on Peacock TV. And so uh, we hope that you'll check us out. Season one was a blast. You can also see that as well in its entirety. And uh, we've ramped it up. We've got a better season for you here in season two. So uh, tell your friends and, and uh, we'll be watching with you. All right, so Fred and Vanessa, I actually had a chance to attend a, a private screening of a couple of the episodes, and I have to tell you, I'm a super nostalgic person already, but I was so sentimental watching those episodes and knowing what it meant to so many people and, and just seeing where those tracks are now. But but Dell Jr. and, and Matthew Dillner, who's in, that, in those episodes with him, they do such a good job really retelling the story of what it was and how it got to where it is. Yeah, there's so much history, yeah. so yeah. much history behind it. And I was looking at some of the clips, too, that you included in your piece, and I was kind of amazed to see, like, the different states, you know, that the, the speed tracks were in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and one that's really near and dear to his heart, Myrtle Beach Speedway. They go there. It just closed in 2020, so that mm. one meant a lot to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be watching the season closely. Yeah. Ashley, thank you. Yep.